Podimo gets $78 million, the latest from our daily newsletter at podnews.net. Podcast production company Podimo has secured $78 million of funding. The subscription company hosts more than 950 original shows and plans to move into new markets. $78 million? Hold my beer. Verbit, a voice AI platform focusing on transcriptions, has raised $250 million in funding. The Verge reports that Radio Public, which was purchased by Acast in February, is broken for many users and has been for months. We reported in early October that it wasn't updating some shows. Joe Rogan isn't the number one podcast in Spotify again. The Always Sunny podcast has beaten Rogan to the top slot. Hosted on Simplecast, it's a fan podcast about It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, a sitcom which returns for a 15th season on December the 1st. Now, that's not an exclusive show, and we're sure they're there on merit, but we have heard whispers that there's some chart manipulation going on elsewhere in Spotify. We're editor at podnews.net if you want to give us a tip. Netflix and Spotify have come together to launch a Netflix hub on Spotify. It includes playlists for Netflix shows and additional audio. The owner of Podcast One, Live One, is to acquire Palm Beach Records in South Florida. The company plans to expand their content into podcasting. A general manager of an NPR member station has called for NPR to coordinate its podcast strategies better with member stations. NPR CEO John Lansing has signalled that this is on the cards for next year. Paul Masson of WWNO made his comments during an NPR board meeting. Equipment manufacturer Rode has launched a new sleeker Lavalier microphone, the Lavalier 2, for $99. GQ magazine looks at TV's podcast Gold Rush. It describes Wondery as an ear-based business. Cute. We're all ear-based businesses, aren't we? It sounds profitable with Miguel and AI. Brian Barletta notes that shows with Apple Podcast subscriptions get the most promotion within the Apple Podcasts app. If you're in France and looking for the Samsung free app for your Galaxy phone that we mentioned yesterday, the company calls it Samsung O in the country, Menaturellement, and Casper Mattresses is to go private. Less than two years after an IPO, it lost $25.3 million last quarter, even though it seems more podcasters sleep on a Casper mattress than any other brand. And in podcast news, Linktree has launched their second podcast, Game Face, focused on how college athletes can build their brand in the new realities of name, image and likeness opportunities. The first guest is Chloe Mitchell, the first student athlete to reportedly profit from NIL rules. Italian food, not just pasta and pizza, but also kazumatsu, a cheese filled with maggots, and sanguinaccio, a dessert made of blood. The ugly ducklings of Italian cuisine, or scarafoni in cucina, if you like it better that way, is a new bilingual podcast from SBS, covering those regional delicacies that don't get onto Instagram that often. Ascolta tutti gli episodi in italiano e in inglese per una Guardo inedito sulla cucina italiana. Cats of the Wild is an independent documentary podcast sharing stories of wild cat conservation from around the world as Tiger King roars back on Netflix for season two. The latest episode features Leif Cox from the International Tiger Project about the real life challenges in conserving the Sumatran tiger and what you can do at home to help save them. And just in time for Thanksgiving in the US, Green Eggs and Dan is running a mini series called History Bites. Why do we eat turkey on Thanksgiving? Did you know that salt was so valuable it was once used as currency and it's where we get the word salary our cheetos are my product of world war ii this comedy and history podcast will tell you and that's the latest from our daily newsletter for all the links we're at podnews.net 